might have found the best deal on a diesel pusher, a bath and a half Fleetwood Expedition with only 20,000 miles for $69,995. Doug Sewell, what is going on, sir? Listen, I drove across the country to get your viewers a deal on this coach. And when I say deal, I mean deal. I've been in this doing this quite a while. I've been around the diesel pusher market. In fact, I bought uh, a 2005 Fleetwood Discovery almost 10 years ago and wow this is a deal and not only is this a good deal but the previous owner was a viewer of the youtube channel or the previous owner's son was a viewer of the youtube channel so i'll tell you what this coach has a really cool story that i'm excited to tell you guys about let's go take a look inside and tell the folks the story here and then when we're done telling the story and showing the inside of the coach, we're gonna show you all the flaws on the outside of the coach and go through the basement bays. We're gonna take it for a test drive, the whole tour, but let's go right inside. Under 70 grand, ladies and gentlemen. Just over 20,000 miles and Doug drove the last 1,800 miles on this coach as well. So 1,800 miles across the country. And I'll tell you, it drove great. Super nice floor plan with the opposing sofas here and the kitchen up front here. I, I really like having that kitchen up front. So if you're outside and you want to grab something, grab a cold drink or something, you don't have to track all the way through the coach. A lot of cool stuff. What else is going on, sir? I mean, just a wonderful floor plan. This is a 38F, F is in Frank. Um, I personally owned this floor plan in a 2009 Fleetwood Bounder. We loved it. I mean, this thing's chock full of options. You got a bath and a half. I don't know very many manufacturers that were doing bath and a half back in 08. This, that's kind of when the craze started. So this floor plan might be the start of the bath and a half floor plan craze, but where else are you gonna find this type of coach for this kind of money? Uh, yeah, here? and with the living, let's utilize this nice living area here in the middle of the coach with the opposing sofas, the midship TV. I really like this, but let's let's take a seat here and talk about this coach because I actually got involved in helping bring Doug this coach. The son of the owner of this coach, which is a viewer of the YouTube channel, reached out to me and asked if I could help get some buy bids on this coach. This coach was out in Sedona, Arizona. Was it a one owner coach, did he say? Yeah, yeah the gentleman bought it brand new. Yeah, one owner coach. Um, he sent me some pictures of some of the little damage stuff on the outside that we're going to show you in a few. But I reached around and kind of put my feelers out at who would, you know, put a top number on it. And Doug put the best number on it. And then now he's passing a deal along to you, you viewers here. So really exciting. And what happened? So I put you in touch with this guy and, and yeah, what happened? I mean, this was a deal. This was a sweet, sweet deal for everybody concerned, Andrew. I mean, this was... This gentleman lived in a, one of the most beautiful areas in the country. He's an older gentleman, 90 years old. Him and his wife bought this coach brand new back in 2009 uh, and really loved the coach. Did, you know They stayed local, so that's the reason for the low miles. But I'll tell you this, I've got a maintenance log or a I've got a instruction sheet that, sheet that the gentleman wrote for himself on monthly procedures that he took to start this coach use the generator things of that nature that really tells a story about how the coach was cared for and when you walk inside this coach even though the exterior has some sun damage or arizona i would call it arizona damage this coach really is in amazing condition the inside is just absolutely stunning it's super clean and yeah, no smells at all sometimes in the coaches of this vintage you start to get wet smells i mean just no smells at all a lot of nice stuff going on and no water intrusion in this coach the gentleman kept it he kept it covered for most of its life but being 90 years old the last two or three years his son told me that he was not able to cover it he just physically couldn't get the, the cover over the coach and, and so that's the reason for some of the sun some of the, the paint checking you'll see on it and so so on and so forth yeah well let's take a little closer look at this coach because i want to show this is an opportunity and if you are a serious buyer i'm going to leave doug's number in the description below and i would call him right away because it's 69.995 it's not going to last but look at the condition of these front seats up here i mean the leather is in excellent condition it's on the Freightliner chassis, Allison transmission, and really I like the styling of this front dash up here. You know, the dash is all in really good condition. The passenger chair up here is in really good condition, and, and I like the styling. Now, what uh, what engine is in this uh, coach? This has you know? the 325 Cummins, uh, and it, it's a powerhouse. It 
operates and, and runs amazing. Uh, had a really good time driving this thing across. I was actually genuinely concerned about driving this thing 1,700 miles. Uh, but once I got in it, after a couple hours, I got that seat adjusted the way I liked it. I really had a good time driving it. So. Yeah, definitely a statement. 1,800 miles from Arizona. That'll definitely put a coach to the test. It does have a front galley. That's a rare floor plan that you don't see very often. And then a booth up here. You've got storage overhead and your slide out up here. Sleeping. I mean, this coach sleeps a lot of people. So, I mean, it'll sleep six people comfortable and then two more if you want to put an air mattress. But this converts to a bed. This makes an air sofa sleeper. Uh, this, co this couch does not convert to anything. It's just there. Uh, but you do have room for a, a nice... Uh, air mattress if you want to a nice wide i really love what fleetwood did they were doing even back in 04 or 05 they did these opposing living room slides and it really makes for a, a huge living area it really makes a coach feel like home and this is a 2008 right this is an 08 uh, fleetwood expedition yes sir 38 f yeah it's got a vent with the fan here uh, AC vents. How many roof AC units does this have? It's got two uh, two roof AC units with heat pumps, and they, okay. and they both work great. So half bathroom right here, definitely it's a really desirable floor plan. You know, everything is a bath and a half now on the high-end coaches. Good amount of space here in the half bathroom as well. You've got some storage there, another vent with a fan. Yeah, I like the style of these light switches in here. That was a pretty cool style there. And then in your bedroom here, it looks like you have a queen size bed, Doug. Yeah, queen size bed. It's actually a sleep number queen size bed, which is pretty rare. There's the controller over there, and it works good. Uh, I slept in this coach. Obviously, I'm not driving 1,800 miles straight through. I'm stopping, and I'm sleeping in this coach for three nights. Yeah. Yeah. So you slept all right in it? Slept wonderful. Yeah, yes, actually, sir. I slept really, really well. And again, having owning this, I owned this floor plan previously in an 09 Bounder diesel uh, many, many years ago. And we really just love this floor plan. And you'll see when you get back in the back. And another thing to note too, although there are some sun damage, you know, you see up in the corner there, yeah. that, that's, that's not, that's Wall not paper. water damage. That's just heat damage. Yeah. That's very common on Arizona coaches. That happened in my Tiffin with the wallpaper. Um, the one thing I've got to point out that I really like that this was doing that I haven't seen them doing recently is the cup holders. Why wouldn't everybody want a cup holder bedside as well as some good nightstand space there, both sides of the bed. Doug, why do you think these manufacturers don't put cup holders bedside? I mean, it, it's hard It's hard to say. Uh, you know, it, it's really, maybe the type of the countertops they're using, it's, it's more expensive to put cup holders in. <laughs> It's hard to say, but I like the cup holders, too, because I like to have a bottle of water next to me in the bed. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, let's take a look. This is what it's all about. This big rear bathroom back here. Got a radius shower over here. A uh, good amount of space around your toilet there. Another sink with a uh, washer dryer here in the bathroom as well. Not only a bath and a half, but with a washer dryer as well. Checking all the right boxes. Plenty of storage up here. And look at this. This just shows... This is kind of some of the stuff that Doug was talking about, how the owner really took notes on everything. I mean, here's all the instructions and how to use everything. Just, I mean, look at that condition. I mean, just excellent condition there on the carpet back here in the storage. And, you know, run small loads, three gallons of hot water. I mean, that just says a lot about the previous owner there and all the laundry instructions. Then you've got wardrobe space here uh, along the back of the coach as well. And I'll just point out, you know, nice little latch here. And I'll just point out, you know, Doug likes to point out flaws as well, just so we're transparent in these videos. This wallpaper here is coming off a little bit and a little bit more back here, but really not too bad. Good size radius shower. Really in good condition too. I would doubt this coach was barely used, huh? And another thing too, if you want to see more information about the condition of the coach, go to uh, James AC Expert. He did the inspection for me on this coach and he actually documented it on his YouTube channel. Andrew, I know that you and James have worked together in the past and I've seen him some, do some videos with you. And I'll tell you, uh, he did a wonderful job. I have the full inspection. We're using that full inspection to go through and fix uh, any items that we found that need to be repaired very it's not it's not a ton of items um, you know he also noted 
some of the issues the cosmetic issues on the outside and also on the inside so we're again we're fully transparent with your viewers that's very important to me as a dealer that there's no surprises and certainly no apologies on on pickup we don't want any apologies first thing fully transparent doug i do see a little bit of paint checking in the black paint up here i'm going to get a close-up here and see i did do a video all about paint checking about a year or two ago it's super common and you know country coach beaver monaco especially arizona coaches on dark colors all of, all of the black color around the coach has paint checking okay every bit of it this is the most severe it's actually checked so bad that it's starting to bust through the clear coat yeah um this coach is definitely worth fixing and definitely worth saving so i'm i'm literally passing along the savings to you if you wanted to take this thing to a body shop and spend you know five six grand i don't know what it costs but if you want to take it and spend a few grand on it you really would have a coach that was amazing condition there's a little bit of clear coming off here yeah a little bit of you know minor paint damage which is really common on all coaches of this vintage and then someone might may want to get it wrapped as well i mean that's another option for not a lot of money you can get it wrapped uh and then up top there i mean a little bit of clear coat way up there i don't know if you guys can see that but i mean overall the paint's not in terrible condition and for the money outside of the black and the paint checking with a little bit of clear coat coming off this coach i mean this everything down here is in beautiful condition uh we did have it polished and waxed and uh it is in excellent shape you know yeah. it, with the exception of what we're showing you one thing i like about these fleet woods of this era is how the slide outs have a bay as well so you don't have to climb underneath your slide out to get into these bays here huge huge massive we do have the rock guard and then also this coach does come with all the um, you know magna shade the, the snap on shades for the uh, the wheel covers and also the windows as well and let's talk about tires andrew because this is one of those coaches too that you're not going to have to take this coach and go slap some tire six thousand dollars worth of tires on it this coach has really really good tires on it what's the date codes i think they're 2017. okay look uh, let me take a look here as well i gotta point out the condition of this mud flap i mean that mud flap that fleetwood expedition mud flap is in great condition and these bays have not been detailed yet doug just got this coach but i was excited and i wanted to uh wanted to film it what did you find the day codes yeah, 33rd week of 2017 okay yeah, yeah so still good michelin rubber on there and a little bit more paint checking up there but uh you know nothing that isn't out of the ordinary for coaches of this vintage a little bit of paint uh of paint peeling on that very top cap too which most 2008 coaches now what is this little thing right here just oh, oh that's i like that <laughs> that's uh it, it in uh james's video he you know he says these things are clever i think it's pretty neat you know but that's a gutter that's basically a gutter that keeps the water away from the coach when it drains so yeah yep. roof on this coach is in excellent condition again if you want to see more about the condition of a full walk around go to james's page and check it out he did a great job on the walk around uh, we did, had him do an inspection on the coach just to be sure that it was going to be roadworthy for our trip back to Kentucky. Yeah, no, James is a great guy. I'll leave a link to James' channel in the description below and a link to that video in the description below. Huge shout out to James AZ Expert. Congratulations to him hitting 200K subs on TikTok. Uh, let's take a look at these basement bays here too. Again, same thing on this slide out. What a clever design where you don't have to go below. Now you lose a little bit of base space, but still... You don't have to ever climb below your slide out very clever so before the coach is going to be delivered to whoever purchases it uh this will all be wiped down and clean we did an exterior detail but we haven't done the bay detail yet but you're seeing the coach just the way we got it now entertainment television and speaker setup that's the entertainment bay next you have more storage it's a good large wide storage yeah you want to show us on this entertainment bay i'm sure. curious how is there's just like a little pin right here yeah. Oh yeah, look at that little Samsung TV. And then a little pin that comes out. That is slick. It's a little dusty, but again, we'll get that cleaned up nice for you. It's another uh, large storage bay here. And you can see you can even access a lot of your plumbing stuff back there. And these are actually uh, past there, I think. Good amount of storage down here. Again, needs to be cleaned out, but really in good condition overall. A lot of storage in this coach. Such a cool, you know, design and style. I really, 
Uh, there is an antenna down here that was missing in James's uh, video. Uh, he did the inspection. There was an antenna missing, and it is located down here in the bay. Some more storage, cones, leveling blocks. Still got the AZ plates on it. And we'll also go through and check these batteries. Obviously, they're going to need to be replaced. We'll be putting new batteries on there. Uh, that's just part of our process. It'll get a full service, uh, new batteries. Uh, the, the chassis batteries might be okay. They're, they're date coded 2018, but uh, we'll, we'll check those to make sure they're, they're holding good charge. Uh, you do have a nice inverter with your power cord and a surge guard protector. This, this, this here needs, he had, I'm going to take these hoses and throw those away, clean up that uh, water bay and get everything working properly for you. Sounds good. Yeah, that one's passed through. Okay. This one is a pass through up here with a water hose and look at like, even his hose is in really good condition there. You know, that's a, it's a hose I would still use. You can just tell it's been cared for. Coach, wiped has, down. Coach has a dirt double central vac. Uh, wow. Central vac <laughs> Doug. For, for 70 grand. I'll tell you what, you want to take this for a test drive? Let's do it, come on. Can't thank Doug enough for letting me test drive all of these coaches to give you guys a full transparent test drive. We're going to put this one to the stress test too here. Uh, am I good over your right shoulder there, sir? You are good to go. All right. Uh, yeah, there's this pretty steep drive uh, out of the dealership here, and we're going to... It's hard to pick it up on camera, but that's a pretty good little drop. Yeah, you could probably see right now. I mean, we're looking right at the road there. So it's definitely twisting when I pull out here. And even just what we've done so far, it didn't, you know, you can really get a, a sense of squeaks and rattles when you're really twisting the whole chassis coming out of here. Huh? So what engine is in this coach? Uh, this, this has the 325 Cummins. Okay. 6.7 liter. And how many miles are on it now? Uh, this coach actually only has, I think I rolled it, it had 18,000 and some change. I put over 1,700 miles on this coach, bringing it back from Arizona. So how many miles does it have on it just, now? Just a hair over, uh, just a hair over 20,000 miles on it now. Okay. Nice. This is super smooth. I'm really impressed with you know, I don't know if I've driven a Fleetwood Expedition of this vintage, but really. Oh, is that your country coach? Uh, yep, sure is. What's, are we going to be able to film that? Uh, yeah, we'll get a go wash on it and we'll give it a film. Nice, nice. Heck yeah, you got a lot of nice coaches coming and going here. You guys have been keeping an eye on Doug's, on all these videos we've been filming with Doug's and some nice coaches. Oh. Uh, Spoiler alert, we got some Bravos coming. We got some more Allegro buses coming. Nice. So I want to make sure I don't miss the uh, the turn up here, but how long do I have it? So the... as far as you can see, that last ridge, that's exactly where you're going to be turning. Okay. I think, is there a window open back there? Yeah, we, we Yeah, uh, you want to take the folks back there yeah. while it's going down the road and let them know what it's like going down the road? So that's a good, you know, good show of the noise and what it's like in the back of the coach. I mean, it's not a Prevo, but, no. you know, for the price and the money, man, oh man, this coach is a deal. 70 grand for a bath and a half coach, 20,000 miles, diesel pusher. I'm just really excited. The one thing that does kind of annoy me is that when you turn the turn signal on, it beeps is that something that's standard or yeah that's pretty much standard in this year and this this freight line freight liner chassis even today i mean they're doing the some of those allegros and stuff have that beeping i don't know if that's something that could be muted or turned off uh but it is it's annoying but it's also you're not gonna leave your turn signal on that's for sure yeah yeah that is true yeah man this is a great coach for the money Twenty thousand six hundred eighty-two miles on an 08 
Uh, the gentleman who owned it started this thing up and had a procedure every 30 days for running the generator and the coach and the engine so everything stayed. He even kept a, uh, some fuel additive in it so it didn't, uh, the fuel didn't gel up in the cold and didn't, you know, have any issues starting and running. So really, really good there. Hey, if somebody wants to get financing on this coach or they want to, uh, or they have a trade in, yeah, trade-ins, if you want to trade up or trade down, we can help you out. Also, financing, that's huge. Our company, AutoMart, we have a finance department, and we deal, we just we just financed probably three or four different coaches in this same type of price range and year. We get you 15 years real easy at really good interest rates, uh, easy. These are very easy deals to get done. And they go, what, 120 months on these? Yeah, 15 years, 180 months. Uh, in some cases, depending on the year, make and model, we go 20 years on some of them. What kind of down payments and credit scores do people need to get into something like this? Yeah, 700 plus credit scores, down payments in the, you know, typically, the depending on the credit, this, this company buys your credit. They buy you. Uh, so we actually just got that coachman done uh, with a thousand bucks down. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Strong. strong. Depends on what you need. So. Every, every deal is different, Andrew. Well, I think this will be a great coach for somebody. So, Doug, I can't thank you enough for taking us on a test drive. If someone's a serious buyer, who should they get a hold of? Please, please reach out to me. I'm the first contact, the easiest way to get to, to talk to somebody at the dealership about the coach. I know more about the coaches than anybody at the dealership. Uh, I know about the financing. I know how to how to arrange everything. I can get you with my finance department. I can arrange it. It all starts with a phone call to me, 859-613-2574. Uh, of course, you can always jump on the website at 127automart.com. That's 127automart.com. Uh, you'll have pictures, the price, and all the information on the website about the coach or any of our coaches for sale. As you can see, Andrew, we've got some nice stuff coming up for sale here. All right, Doug, can't thank you enough. Greatly appreciate you. Also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Hey, wonderful. Thank you, Andrew. We appreciate all of your viewers, and I really appreciate you for giving me the opportunity. Uh, even though I had to drive all the way across the country to pick up this coach, it really means a lot that you would trust me to, to, to handle a business transaction with some of your uh, viewers. That means a lot to me, and I know... Uh, I know that your viewers appreciate the opportunity to sell a coach where they feel comfortable in, in the business transaction. And we can handle that here at Automart and love to help you. Just give me a call and we appreciate you. all have a great and blessed day. Awesome. Thanks again, Doug. Appreciate you, sir.